Good evening team. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to test in parallel um, eye devices or cell phone devices on Sauce Labs. So here I have uh, one Java class that I put together and here I'm using uh, concurrent parameterized uh, annotation with JUnit in order to facilitate that process. I'm only going to be doing Android in this one, but I could obviously change these to any of the supported devices out on Sauce Labs. I could also change this so it's data-driven and move all this data here, all these uh, different uh, things here. I could basically have on an Excel or anywhere I want. But for now I just have it hard-coded and I'm going to be doing uh, Android emulator, Google Nexus 7, Galaxy Samsung S4, and uh, LG Flexus uh, 4 emulator. And these are all the different um, 4.3 platform, the different firmwares, and Sauce Labs. I'm going to be downloading this APK, which is Contact Manager, which you can pretty much uh, just use yourself if you want to test this out. And it's just going to be running a simple test for this one. So um, nothing too complex. Just using this um, Sauce Labs key and uh, with remote driver. And then I'm just going out here and typing in some data in the contact uh, manager app and then clicking save. And then after that, I just quit WebDriver and then it's pretty much done. So it's basically just to show you how you can run tests in parallel. And I'll be doing four, although there's only two supported by default when you uh, get a Sauce Labs uh, subscription. You only get two concurrent tests that you can run. But the other two will be in queue. And I'll show you this in a minute. So there's nothing I need to do. I don't need to open up um, APM and all that. Um, I just run the test, basically. And that's it. So I'm just going to run this. And this is a JUnit a framework suite. So I'll just run it as JUnit. And then proceed. And then out here. I can go ahead and refresh this and I'll automatically see uh, today's the 14th and I'm running some tests here. So as you can see, these are the different Android uh, versions. I have 4.4, 4.3 and then you could see if you log in. Okay, it's loading the video right now. But you'll be able to see the different devices in a minute. Okay, so so we're we're success. We have success. It's not running yet. Okay, it's taking starting in a few seconds. Okay, two should start. Okay, started. So it looks like these are all starting. They're sort of all running in parallel. It looks like. Um, okay. Still loading the video. All right, it's taking some time to load that video. Let's see if I can go to a different one. All right. Okay, here we go. So this one looks like it's already, okay. So this is one of our devices. And let's just watch it for a second. This looks like an older Android. I'm not sure which one this is. This might be the Note 3 or something. All right. And so it'll just open up that. I'm going to download the native app. So this is basically a native app test that actually downloads Contact Manager. There it is. From Sauce Labs, it's actually downloading. It's the only way to test native apps. You have to have. Uh, HTML uh, page out on the net somewhere where you're 
uh, getting that app from and then putting it on the uh, simulator. Okay, so that one's done. Now let's let's see if I can watch. Let's just go to another one. I think. Okay, let's see this one. All right. Let's see what this one is. Okay, so this is a different Android device now. So all of these have ran in parallel. Um, So if you want to quickly run your native app, your web app, or your hybrid app um, in parallel, it's very easy to do within Sauce Labs and uh, just providing some simple annotation out on your class. You're able to uh, implement that process. Um, yeah, so this is just going to run the same thing. It'll type in a name here and save it. And let's see how the test. Okay. So then after that, I can go back here. And I'm not going to go through all these, but as you can see, um, it's able to run very nicely in parallel. And I will later on be implementing this in parallel test into my framework uh, and I'll have that as an option on the actual Excel sheet. I'll put it as a flag if I'm going to run in parallel or not. Um, and that's about it. Thank you for watching.